can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what? I can't did, I miss, did I miss the joke? No. I'm just Simply aggravated you, over Michael, nothing. You are Simply, the joke. Simply True. talking about insurgents and emergence, part one. Also, um, Brian, what do you think about yeah. Judgment Day? <laughs> about what? It's, oh, it's yeah. Judgment it's, Day. It's, it's Judgment Day today, I know. I've been yeah. living in fear of it all day. Very sad. All, it was raining very hard up here, and I had to walk across campus multiple times. I, I'm very wet. For uh, I mean, those who are watching this at a later date for recording, it's a nine ten of uh, twenty one. Yes, it is. Judgment day. Was nine plus ten? Twenty one. How do you spell B M W? B E W. What is it? In the middle. <laughs> Beam and orange fruit. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> A frog. <laughs> Naked grandma. <laughs> Name something. <laughs> kill. Name something you'd hate for a policeman to find in your trunk. A uh, jar of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to watch Family Feud. I want to watch Family Feud. Uh, what, what's the one where it's like, na name, name, what was it? Uh, na name a, an animal. It starts with, with A. A frog. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just an old man. Oh, not wrong. It's A frog. Name something that comes after the, after the word pork. Cupine. <laughs> <laughs> I love pork. Cupine, yeah. Alright, alright. Let's actually start. No, I talk about Steve Harvey all day. <laughs> what is something you can Harvey? say that will Maybe always I'll... start a fight? Hey, you guys want to start a fight? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Bruce Jorgensen the third. Is I'm that what you used to start a fight? Yeah. Uh, every sound effects is here. I think. Yes, it is. Uh. It is here. So, <laughs> uh, Balazar Dragonborn. Hello. Uh. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh god. Hello. Oh, what, Dash. What just happened to Dash Vungus Sadface? Are you here? No, his name is Cuck Vungus. Oh. <laughs> you can't change your name, Brian. You have to stick with that name for the rest of the session. Oh no. Shot. Sorry, what was that? Oh, you have. Gamer Vungus. You, you can't change your name. You have to stick with Cuck Vungus. <laughs> Humorous, are you here? I'm here. Hello. Hello. That works. Uh, Drogos. <laughs> no, turn off the voice <laughs> modulator. Oh, was Minton? Sorry, I had to do that. Uh, you really planker. Get here. those photos printed. <laughs> what was Minton? <laughs> 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 Is, is William Peterson here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the funny bird guy is here, yeah. He has a gun. Uh, Chester 2 is here. He's playing Epic Beats. Uh, Alright, on to the listener questions. There aren't a lot this week. It's only th uh, three, it seems. Uh, first one is for... Uh, it is for Bug Vungus. Uh, Susan from Idaho uh, wants to know um, other than uh, rotting flesh, what is Bug Vungus's favorite meal that, like, a human would eat? Bug is a very big fan of uh, Ricotta from a, <laughs> from a jar. Hmm. Just ricotta cheese. Amazing. I love that he the likes... response was like Elmo. Like, you know how <laughs> Elmo is like referring to himself in the third person while sitting Elmo? in the Elmo! Bug likes. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, um, look! Bug is kind of the coalition's Elmo. <laughs> Who's Super <laughs> Grover? Yeah. That's uh, that's the next question from uh, Dougie from <laughs> Manitoba, Canada. <laughs> um, 
Next one is for humorous from uh, Todd from Michigan. Oh, I think you're going to say Detroit. He wants to know uh, will humorous actually ever buy some sort of bag or backpack? Uh, well, Todd, that's a, that's a good question. Um, you know, I feel like buying a bag would kind of ruin my aesthetic I got going on. Um, I, and besides, you know, keeping things in your rib cage is surprisingly really handy. You can just, uh, you just put it in diagonally in between your ribs and there you go. You've got a lot of storage in there, so, uh, I don't think I'll ever be buying a bag. I do want to buy some new clothes when I get a chance, though. Last one, uh, oh no. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's from Dirt I'm trying to remember, the, yeah, I'm Again. Trying to remember the name, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. He said, hey, uh, it's not even a question. He says, hey, look at Patreon. And, um, <laughs> thanks like it was. He, uh, he donated $20. Oh wow! Sick. Oh cool! Uh, <laughs> you know what that means? I, you know what that means? I'm gonna pl- go to uh, co- Patreon uh, coalition coalition of swell fellas. Um, no, um, um, we're gonna hear uh, All Star, right? Uh, for he specifically asked for me to sing All Star before the finale, so that'll be tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Oh, um, I, I usually hate this bit, but that was gold. <laughs> uh, what bit? Thank no, you, Dirtwad. Don't don't hate on our patrons. <laughs> yes, thank you, Dirtwad. Come on, don't hate on the patrons. Thank no, you, Dirtwad. I am uncomfortable with your name, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that's. I don't know who just makes a. You're supposed to put your like actual name for Patreon, and he's put Dirtwad. <laughs> I, I don't know how they got past the filters, oh. but you know. I mean, you can put some stuff in there. You can put weird play. stuff sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I can't think of the name. Why Dirt Why? <laughs> I, I think that they might be a little I, troubled. I think I kind I of think hate they're them. Just, or they're very honest with themselves. I feel like you shouldn't otherwise. hate them. I feel like they give us money, so <laughs> don't hate them. Dirt yeah. Wad, Bug they're, Mungus likes you. I mean... Not me, but Bug Mungus. I mean, they could just be very honest with themselves. Session? Question mark? Oh, yeah. On this uh, episode, oh, Wall's fan, Love and Warm. Yeah, uh, I also kind of made a thing where if Dirtwad, uh, donates $50 next time, he, uh, there will be a NPC named after him in someone's oh, campaign. No. Uh, I'm so sorry, Kate. Dude, Anyways. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. I believe you just uh, encountered William Peterson. I had a talk with him on the rolling hills in front of Mendo Berzan. I still want to know how hills form in a cave. <laughs> um, and so he basically said that um, this 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 music does not fit. Hold on. I'm just going to make it leave for now. Um, he basically said that he went through and uh, scouted out the only possible way that he could see of getting into the drought capital, um, which was uh, the William Peterson uh, c- certified plan of going into the sewer, like always. And uh, he said he encountered some large spiders, but made it out pretty much unscathed. Oh, and right. Uh, marked and 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 marked the way to the advisor's tower from underground. So, you all are walking towards the large canyon that separates these kind of uh, rolling hills uh, from the actual city itself. What were you going to say, Balazar? No, I just remember the thing you and I discussed earlier about the sewer. Mm. Mm-hmm. We may <sighs> have a problem. So, um, 
you guys kind of just like uh came off of the like main road and kind of like walking downhill in between large boulders and uh and stalagmites um and uh you kind of get over uh a kind of a more elevated place for a moment and it kind of points down and kind of like halfway down the canyon you see this large kind of supported pipe that goes like across the canyon and he goes, well, so it might be some trouble uh, getting back down there, but um, hopefully you have rope. I got wings. Hmm. I guess that could work. Uh, climbing boots. I'm sure um, Bowser could be some sort of platform for you. Climbing boots. Bowser puts on the climbing boots. <laughs> All right. Um, he kind of just like scratches his head and looks around. Um, well, there was a um ladder, but I kind of got um chased out of the sewer, and they uh, kind of destroyed the ladder out of um anger. I think. Who is they? So, um, the giant spiders. Oh. Ah, so. Can, um, can Bug, taking out his disguise kit, uh, attempt to disguise himself as a spider? <laughs> sure. Uh, go ahead and make a, uh... I think it's a dex check. Okay, yeah. I think it's a dex check, uh, plus your, uh, proficiency modifier. Is how it works, so. All right, so one sec. My proficiency modifier plus three. Is plus three, so add three to this. Um, I'd say um, everyone kind of like stops to kind of get ready and put on their spider climb uh, boots. Um, and, uh, in this time bug, you take out your dis disguise kit, um, and you find, like, some spare, like, like, uh, kind of, like, long, uh, thick pieces of, like, rope in there that are sort of dyed black that you kind of, like, strap, uh, like, uh, like, two sets on, like, each side, like, under your arms. So you kind of look like you have uh, like six legs and you kind of like uh, paint some like fake like eyes on your face and you're pretty confident that that should help. Look out world, it's arachnid fungus. Oh, Bug, uh, what are you doing? I'm a spider! And okay. spiders only, like, whatever. Uh, There's spiders, you think they'll figure it out? They have eight eyes, right? They'll be fine. Anything to give myself a little advantage! I don't think you will be giving yourself an advantage. Yeah, it will. Look at me. And Bug just sort of motions at all the arms. How uh, how convincing is this disguise? Um, it looks like a like the equivalent of like a Halloween costume, probably. So kind of what Michael just posted. In the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a dog Halloween costume, not a person. Still has this. I know, but just the, the cool face of the yeah. dog reminds me of Bug <laughs> so much. It looks so sad. <laughs> Those little pleading eyes. <laughs> Please get this off my head. <laughs> um, as you all kind of put on your uh, boots and get ready to get closer to the edge of the uh, large canyon, you all notice immediately as the entirety of the ground starts to like rumble, and you see small chunks of stone falling from the like ceiling, and 
from the very large tower in the middle of the like city, you see this huge, bright red uh, beacon like like beam shoot out of the middle of it and just uh, like right into the like ceiling of the cavern. And uh, when it hits, like everything just rumbles and you hear this low guttural, very distant, uh, like creature just like roar and kind of like shakes uh, like your body and like your bones as it rumbles and echoes throughout the cavern. And oh, Ambrose, cool. you immediately get a horrible like headache, so bad that you go like onto your knees. I uh ah uh, 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 running out of head. time. Are you okay? Ambrose is just like kind of grabbing his head. <laughs> Can Bug attempt to uh like decipher what is wrong with him? Sure. Go ahead and make a medicine check for me. Um, <clears throat> Oak, Oak grabs uh, Ambrose's head with his spider, fake spider arms. <laughs> um, you see that, like the way his like face muscles are like, like the shape there, and that he's like in a lot of pain, and that like. You see that, like, sweat just starts to, like, pour off of his, like, forehead. And he starts to shake. And you, like, look, uh, you, like, try to get him, like, stable. But he kind of, like, falls backwards. And he seems to be kind of, like, knocked out. Hmm! I surmise that Ambrose is in pain! Do you think it's whatever that shaking was that caused it? Well, I am no mathematician, but I believe so. I would also like to point out the giant beam. And this Not a giant beam, this giant red beam is still just like shooting up into the um in like in into the sky. And it kind of makes the dull um like almost purple light coming from the city just, like, absolutely gone, and the entire cavern is kind of, like, baked in this red, kind of ominous light. Didn't uh, something like this happen before with uh, you guys about uh, Sehenin? That was more of a white glow, if I remember correctly. But it was also it involved is, the moon. Well, whatever it is, it isn't good. Well, we're a fan moon. We should probably just go into serious. Is, is he awake? Balasar <laughs> 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 like walks over out. and he kind of kicks Ambrose. I was planning on doing that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Bug, will join. To... Bug will Bug will not kick. But, Gotta like... make a strength check for anyone who wants to kick Ambrose. <laughs> <laughs> like Bug. just squarely in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eight and five. We Tom. don't want to hurt him. We just want to yeah. kill him off. <laughs> yeah. You... Who's Tom? Tom. I, I Tom. am a regular barbarian. Come closer. I want to cause you as much pain as physically possible. <laughs> um, He seems to be just fully just limp. Well, Ambrose is dead. Time to go. <laughs> Ambrose, for you... As soon as you fell backwards and your head hit the ground, you immediately hear this, like, extremely violent, like, wind. And as you kind of blink uh, and kind of look around, the pain from your head immediately goes away. And you seem to be on top of, like, a some sort of, like, large tower. And the heat is very intense. And you start to hear footsteps behind you. Ambrose uh, shields his face and then turns it. Did you hear that? Yeah. In front of you, like in between your uh, like fingers, you see the outline of the Dark Lord kind of just staring down at you. Uh, Ambrose kneels. 
but he like his back is remains upright. Oh, Ambrose, you have failed. I, I have. Otto Billy Bonk is no more. I, I've been trying to fight him. It seems you were too late. I, I, I ask for your forgiveness. Mm. Usually, I would show no mercy, but the condition that he died in is well. Hmm. Let's just say it is surprisingly most favoritable. When you find him, be sure to burn his body with the power I have given you. Yes, Dark Lord. Also, in his right front pocket of his robe, you will find a notebook. Bring it to me as soon as you can in the Tenth Circle. It is very important you do not look inside. It is forbidden knowledge. As, as, as you wish, Dark Lord. Great change is coming. Just keep an open mind, Ambrose. Everything will make sense soon enough. I I trust your your guidance. You must stop the advisor. Even in his vast knowledge, he does not know what he is doing. What he is disturbing. What is he disturbing, if I might ask? He is disturbing a cycle most sacred. You must, you must not let him succeed at what he is doing. I am confident in your group. You have what it takes to kill this Illithid. You have my blessing, Ambrose. I... I take it humbly. Good. Remember what I've told you. For... More rides on it than you could possibly imagine. I will take this time to also thank you in person for all the work you've done, especially with my prized gym. You see a flash in his right hand and you see him holding Bugs, bone-breaking Jim in his hand, kind of just staring at it. You see, he kind of walks past you and kind of waves his hand at this, like, black wall. And you see, like, this circular hole start to open. And from there, you see him kind of step out, almost like walking on air. Around you is this kind of, like brown and gray, just lifeless and, like, mountainous, like, desert. And right in front of you is a giant mountain, kind of cracked in half. And if you look in D&D images, this is what you see. What is that? Oh, sire. That is one of my greatest creations. The perfect tool 
to torture the souls that deserve torturing. It is my bone-breaking mountain. And he kind of extends his, like, hand out. And you see the gem almost l liquefy. And you see this pale green, like, liquid fly through the air towards the, like, mountain. And it disappears after a while. Very few have seen this sight and not been within the mountain. You are lucky, Ambrose. You should never forget this sight, for it is one of the most beautiful sights a mortal have, has ever laid eyes on. You, you see him walk back into the tower, and this kind of like circular hole kind of closes, and you're back in just darkness. Remember my words, Ambrose. Your mission is critical, but I have faith in you. Goodbye, for now, Ambrose. Goodbye, Lord. And almost instantly, um, you're snapped back into, um, into, uh, like, where you were on the ground. Everyone is kind of around you, and you see, um, Humorous and Bowser are kind of like very gently, kind of like kicking you to ch ch wake you up. Um, are Bugs feelers still touching Ambrose's head? No, I let go so yeah. he wouldn't get kicked. Oh. Bugs kind of just like next to you. Ambrose turns over and vomits. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Souls is... roll. Does that happen a lot to him? For some I've seen. That Thalassar kind of leans over towards you. We didn't kick him that hard, did we? I don't know. I'll I believe that. that Ambrose is dying. We need to fight spiders before the beam can fully kill him. Clearly, this beam is anti-human. I don't he's, feel he's gonna lean great. down to uh, Ambrose and like. Um, is like Ambrose like bent over, or is he laying on his side? Ambrose turned over to onto his left side to vomit, and then he like like sat up, trying not to touch it. He was gonna like put a hand on uh, Ambrose's shoulder. You feeling all right? Uh, Ambrose just kind of wipes his mouth and he says, "Yeah, I can keep going." Are you sure? Yeah, we we need to kill. The Idolithid ad advisor. Yeah, you're right. We, we need to get rid of the beam and go. Well, I'm glad to see that you're all right and you got your head on straight for once. <laughs> and he was going to stand up and walk back to Bug's side. Uh, Ambrose, like, stands up and, like, brushes the dirt off, off his back and stuff. He's like, I'm not. Too thrilled about these spiders, but we need to move. Um, William is kind of just like standing next to the like edge now, like right above the pipe, which is probably like fifty feet down from the very top of the canyon. Probably, you see as you kind of like all glance over now that the canyon is probably like probably around like if you had to guess, maybe three hundred feet deep. It's a very large canyon. Um, but you do see uh, the uh, like large kind of like pipe um, about 50 feet down. Pipe. Pipe. Bug's gonna finally get his spider climbing shoes on, completing the spider drip. Alright. I wonder I what's guess. in the pipe. Probably spiders! That Balasar will start walking down the side of the canyon to get to the pipe. Balasar, wait! Jervis is gonna, like, walk up to, like, his back first or to the canyon and jump off, sprouting his <laughs> wings and just gonna fly into the pipe. Alright. 
Ambrose um, climbs into Chester and uses him as a mech. <laughs> All right. Because he's still wearing the shoes. <laughs> the, the spider climb boots, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this would be really good, like, fan art right now. Just, like, everyone, like, either flying or walking down <laughs> bugs just in, like, a spider costume. Uh, um. So, uh, let me do something real quick. Roll 20 so we can do combat. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and log on to, uh, roll 20. If you are not already. I hate the roll 20, like... Aracoras! Er oh no, we're on magic carpets again! <laughs> oh no! The, all of a sudden, all of a sudden you all hear voices of gnomes. Coalition, wake up, we're being attacked by Aracoras. <laughs> Underdark, oracles... <laughs> What are you talking about? Get out there! Get ready to fight! <laughs> this has all been a dream sequence. I will yeah. be so mad. This is just you like Mario 2. <laughs> it was all Y'all... a dream. We had Y'all such an up... intense dream. We've leveled up twice. You yeah, all wake um... up in a bar in Nolan with a Goliath bartender. Can you he looks... head... Oh no. No. Um. Oh, Bells are a lieutenant. Uh, no, Balasar is a sergeant. Oh. Mm. Wake up, sergeant. <clears throat> um, Balasar, go ahead and make a, uh, a, a strength check for me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I can't spell. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> um... As you're, like, walking down, you feel this massive, like, like, pain and weight on your back. And <laughs> you feel, like, arms, like, wrap around uh, your, like, neck. As, like, as you look backwards, you see William Peterson, like, gripping onto your back. You could have warned me. I thought this was the plan. I am going to throw you down this cavern if you Not yet. your arms off of my neck. Uh, oh. Ambrose prods um, Chester forward and like <laughs> scoots to the side of the chest and like gestures into Chester. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, uh, do you want like a ride down? I can just fly you down, probably. I do not trust wings. And then he's going to leap That's into. Ironic. He's going to leap into, like, Chester. <laughs> he goes right past you, Ambrose, and just... <laughs> he's just gone. <laughs> you hear a distant, echoing, like, thud below you. <laughs> he hit bottom! Oh, God! <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> you don't hear anything else. Uh, uh, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ambrose, uh... Like stops Chester, and then goes into his, like, compartment okay. to see if he's okay. You see William Peterson, like, sitting on a huge bag of rice, kind of rubbing his head. Okay. This is, uh, quite strange. Yeah, just in enjoy the ride. Or you could come up into the mouth, um, if you just want to see what we're doing. I think if I'll just stay like in to... here until we get to the sewer. Okay. Um. Rose pops back out like a tank gunner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. Other than the shock from that, um, you all make it down to um, this like pipe that's kind of like supported, um, almost like a bridge, uh, across this uh, massive canyon. And you see that there is a kind of hatch and like a ladder that goes down, uh, like halfway across the like canyon. The pipe is probably like, probably like ten feet wide. It's like a massive pipe, so there's definitely no trouble walking on top of it, especially with the uh, spider boots. And. As you uh, approach the pipe, you kind of look down, and you see, um, like, 
just a bunch of like t- like tangled like white wispy like spider webs kind of like covering pretty much every like surface. Um, uh, I don't like to look at this. I wish I had something better than my broken family sword to cut the webs down. What happened to that quarter staff you had? Well, you see, um, I kind of left it at back at uh, Fort Vungust. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Bug's so happy. Did someone say cut down webs? Yeah. Fly, Phoenix! And he has uh, the sword come forward and just starts slicing the webs. All right. And uh, as it kind of makes its way down the ladder, it's like not only like slicing the like webs off of it, you see that like the webs kind of catch fire and like burn like away almost as if it's like really thin like paper. Hmm. Like, it's like nothing. I believe these spiders to be drawings. Hence the burning, much like paper. And one could apply from that, that because these spiders are drawings, that they may also be the product of some sort of artist. And one could apply from that, that the artist in question could be me. Did I make these spiders? Are you saying that at this point where Jordan Alistar reaches down and clamps uh, Bug's mouth shut, just like stop. When Jurgos looks at Bug and really wishes you that thing the Oracle of Arcana did, where he just used, made Bug like be quiet, he just looks longly at Bug and then just walks down the tunnel or starts walking down. Bug does All that right. thing where when you try to like when you try to close the dog's muzzle, where his tongue comes out and just starts licking Balasar's hand. <laughs> Balasar is thankfully wearing metal gauntlets. So, <laughs> you, you, uh, so on, on one hand, you are licking that metal gauntlets. On the other hand, you've probably just supplemented your iron intake for several weeks. Pug feels vitamin efficient. What is the angle of the tunnel? Is it um, carrying like waste? What is. So, as you all begin to like go down this like short ladder. Um, you see that, um, <laughs> no, it's not 45 degrees. Sorry, I do. Um, <laughs> 45 degrees. Um, you see that it's, like, at a slight angle, kind of, like, uh, going away from the city. It's probably, like, a, like a, like a three-foot-wide kind of, um, like a three foot wide, uh, almost like a sidewalk that is out of the like, out of the like sewage, on like each side. This is um a rather large tunnel. Um, it's at this point that uh, William Peterson kind of pops up next to you, Ambrose, and starts to like climb out. Um. And uh, he kind of like uh, walks forward some and like points to the wall, and uh, you see this uh, strange like symbol on the wall, kind of like scratched in with looks like a dagger, probably. These are the um, marks that I left. So um, if we just follow these, we should be golden. Did you find spiders by by making these marks? Uh, yes, I did. So we're going towards the spiders. Well, that's kind of gonna have to. Yes, exactly. Yeah, if you have a better idea, I'll be sure to let us know. We could try going the other direction. Well, not well. If there's like a T junction or something, go the other direction so you don't. There's less of a chance of being spiders. And there's also less of a chance of us getting there. Yeah, and a much higher chance of us getting lost in a spider-infested sewer. So unless you want to spend a lot of time with the spiders, I suggest we follow this path. I only um, in- I encountered... I only I- encountered two big spiders, and I could easily run away from them. So... 
How many small ones, though? I didn't see any small ones. Oh, only big. All right. Only big. That should be disconcerting. I have a, is it, like, dark in the tunnel? Uh, there is completely no light at all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, Balasar will take out the funny wand he got and activate it. All right. Um, just, just stare, just glare at Balasar and just like, dude, that's my thing. Come on. laughing at the funny wand. <laughs> uh... just has his sword just hovering in front of him. All right, yeah. There you go. And you can pretty much cast that almost infinitely, Balazar. So, oh, it lasts. Him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. like, yeah. He's just gonna look at it and just be like, "It's kind of cute." And then he's just gonna tap his uh, hand, his right hand, and just cast light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bug thinks about casting dispel magic for a second, but decides not to. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, so, effects of light. And um, just puts on his goggles. <laughs> immediately. And immediately blinded. <laughs> yeah, um... Like... The, um... The lights in front of you are, like, extremely bright, but as you look backwards into the darkness, you can see, like, pretty much all the way, probably, like, what looks like uh, probably like 500 feet down the pipe. Every time, some sort of junction. every time Ambrose goes to look away from the lights, Bellasar is going to direct one of his to uh, hover in front of his face. Could you stop that? I'm trying to look down the. Ah. Here! Look at me! Look over here! Look at me! Ambrose, what? Take kind of, those, take those glasses kind of, off. It's extremely loud and it echoes all throughout the like the um Ambrose takes them off said. <laughs> what did we tell you about putting them things on? We're trying to draw they us. Let me see in the dark. I could see the half a league towards that the end of that tunnel. Do you do you see how much light is in this room right now? I mean like four people you are doing things. You can't see that... half a league. We don't need to. There's spiders in here. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, I want to see them in advance. Oh, fine. We, is that the hey, point uh, of us using light? Hey, Balzar. Mm. Can you make one of those little glowy things of yours go a little bit further in front of us? You got it. Balzar is going to send one of his one of his lights to the end of the uh the corridor. All right. Well, I was um, only down here yesterday, so with the uh, markings and um, my mediocre memory, we should be good. And William Peterson marches forward. Um, so you're just going to walk next to him? Probably. Right. Yeah, next to him, because yeah. his light now. Yeah. Um, really, you can only walk single file on like each side. So... Um, then behind, like, yeah, well, like, you'll see when I switch to the map, oh. but, um, there's, like, William Peterson on, on the right side, and you're on the, like, left side, and the sewage is, like, in the, like, middle of you flowing, so, oh. um, but, yeah, um, I guess probably walk for, um, probably about, like, ten minutes, just kind of, like, this, like, up this kind of, uh, um, uh, like, pretty steep pipe. And pretty soon, um, the kind of round shape of the pipe kind of becomes more of a, like, square. And the ceiling rises probably about, like, ten feet. Um, and you see, as soon as the ceiling, like, uh, like the part where it rises, about, if you could guess, probably, like, five feet uh, below the, like, ceiling is just this... Uh, like, layer of just webs that just covers the, like, ceiling. And at this point, like, pretty much all of the walls are covered in, like, a very small layer of the, of this, like, sticky, like, web. But you can walk just fine. 
I wonder it's not on, on the ground. There's so much web. I don't think spiders eat sewer water. I believe they eat fruits and vegetables, along with people. I believe they eat bugs. I mean, but spiders this big. It would be quite obvious for their natural prey to become large, much like the predator. So, thinking about that from an analysis of a naturalist, it could be assumed that a larger spider would eat a larger creature, such as us. Maybe they eat other some large spiders. Formal now. I do not want to get eaten. But I think mainly fruits and vegetables. I think we'll be I, fine. I just sound quite formal right now. Do you think the mango man came here? <laughs> Bug has uh, a frown on his face. <laughs> real quick, can we take a very short break? I have to walk my dog and I'm the only one home right now. Sure. That's fine. Thank you. Will Balasar return to fight the spiders? <laughs> Find out next time on... Maximus, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh no! Aha! Uh -huh, I was in this pipe the whole time! If we I'm, find out that the advice used, was actually Maximus. I used clone self before coming on that adventure that killed me. Ha oh, ha! No. <laughs> Time to die, Coalition! I, I, if I, if... I trained my son to use true resurrection. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna oh, work on this no. later. We're workshopping this later. Wait a second. If anyone ever learns true resurrection, use it on Hugh. They could, they could bring back Maximus. Maximus. Oh, even though no one knows about Maximus, but you know, yeah, I don't think anyone ever would know about Maximus. Except <laughs> for Otto, but that's if yeah. You were powerful enough. Could you cast true resurrection on every dead body? It's a it's single target, yeah. Mm. What if the target was the world? It has but, to be like, dead for 200 years. Change the world. Um, Casting true resurrection on a living person to see what happens. <laughs> true death. True death. Is it, yes, just, it's, is it just fucking bites the dust? I meant, <laughs> yeah. I think it just reverses. No, it reverses the, the entire process. They get like a one up. They you do true <laughs> resurrection on somebody who's currently living, they become a fetus instantly. I want Bug to get a smaller version of his own face on his forehead. Epitaph. <laughs> epitaph. I want Bug to I think Bug would learn epitaph. I think that's that would be his Learn name. epitaph. <laughs> he would learn I mean he's already he has he has he has a uh, magician's red. He's just gonna collect stands. Can Fort oh, so he's totem poles of all the, the party members? So he's Can it have, his man, man. And it tells their story. Can it have bowls? What? Totem he's like poles. totem, oh. like Native American, um, like totem pole stuff. That'd be pretty cool. The only one that gets a totem pole is Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Dottie Worcester. Actually, the only person that gets a, to gets a totem pole is Iados. <laughs> of course. It's it's as tall as Bug. <laughs> He's the big bad in my next camp. It's just a little tiny, like, squirrel, like, head, and that's it. Yeah. That squirrel's still alive. Also, Foot Vungus was not supposed to be the dead. It was just a joke. <laughs> a lot of things are just a joke. I know. Foot Vungus. That's a reference to Tobuscus. <laughs> Oh, is his it? fucking his shitty stone Minecraft house in the middle of a lake was called Fort Fort Buscus, and so I said, <laughs> I just so I go with Fort Vongust. <laughs> Let me find a picture. I I made a meme a long time ago. It's what if we kissed in Fort Vongus Fort Buscus Fort Vongus? Oh no, <laughs> that sounds horrible. What if? I found Fort Buscus. <laughs> 